Hi, it's Seta here and welcome to my channel and this evening I would like to share with you uh, the reasons why I left Moscow um, a few months ago and so let's get started and first let me talk on how it all began. So five years ago I left my hometown and moved to Moscow. Why? Well, I was offered a nice job uh, and besides two things happened to me just before that. First, my then current employee went bankrupt and uh, I lost the job, I loved so much. And second, I just applied for a mortgage for my apartment. So, um, I guess you understand that my decision was mostly driven by these two factors. And it's worth mentioning that my hometown is a three hours ride and during the first year I visited almost every weekend, though it got more uh, rare as time passed. But getting back to my life in Moscow. For the first six months I rented an apartment in the suburbs uh, along with my friend and her brother. So we shared a two-bedroom apartment, we shared um, one room with my friend and I had to, you know, sleep on the mattress on the floor <laughs> and it took me two hours to get to work one way. So that was too much. After six months um, we agreed we needed to move closer to the city center and so we did. Well, two of us. My friend's brother didn't move with us. And in this video I'm not going to share the cost of living and how the apartment looked like. I'd better do it in a separate video. Um, but today I'll stick to the topic uh, of this video, why I finally left. So we lived in the city center. It was a 20-minute walk to Red Square and we got everything we needed, like uh, shops, uh, entertainment, subways, good jobs and all that. And in three and a half years uh, I paid off my mortgage and stayed for another year and a half to save some money. And I left uh, Moscow this September. Why? Well, there are a number of reasons. But before I begin, I want uh, you to know that it's only my experience and my opinion, purely subjective, and I do not uh, insist everyone feels or experiences the same, be it in Moscow or in any other city or other country. Okay, I've chosen the top five reasons why I left Moscow and let's get started. The reason number one is the overcrowding. Okay, I every day I walked down to the subway to get to the office or meet with my friends or visit one place or another. And have you seen the Moscow subway in rush hours? Let me show you. And it's not the only point. Every day you see thousands of faces of people you'll never see again. They pass by and um, the feeling is stop. That's how I felt lately, just stop. But the point was I was one of those people rushing around, living my life too fast. But what was the point? Uh, the next reason was the never-ending construction works. Yeah, it's everywhere and it's all year round. You might not notice in uh, it when you're a tourist, but when you live there it shows. Um, the subway stations are under construction and uh, they may change the routes uh, for like half a year, that's totally fine. And uh, here and there there are pavement renovations, buildings renovations, and yeah, I want to remind you that I lived in the center of the city, not, not in those districts, those new districts where building uh, the infrastructure is the permanent thing. And sometimes you just uh, want to enjoy the view, <laughs> to enjoy the sound of the city, not the sound of a jackhammer, right? Okay, and the next reason is was <laughs> fatigue. 
According to WebMD, fatigue is a daily lack of energy, unusual or excessive whole body tiredness, not relieved by sleep. And that's what happened to me. I got really tired of the rhythm of life I had. And, I mean, objectively, life is different. In a big city, in a town, or in the countryside, no matter who you are. Of course, it depends on what you do, and lots of other circumstances, and yet, generally speaking, it's different. And uh, <laughs> the fatigue. At first, there was nothing special. I just began to feel tired, but it turned uh, into health problems, those of neurological nature. I visited my neurologist four times uh, during the last year. Me, who got ill last time when I was at school. <laughs> so, um, it was not okay for me. My sleep was bad. I felt tired no matter what I did. Be it sports or yoga, just do nothing and do relax relaxation sessions. What helped me a bit was Reiki. I learned the technique and got a master certificate, so I practiced on myself. And it helped a bit. But my overall condition was not the best. What I clearly understood is that it was not about my body activity or sleep or eating habits, which are quite healthy, by, by the way. It was about my mental state that affected my body. So it was obvious to me that um, I have to change my lifestyle. And the first step to it is to quit my job and have some time on my own. Okay, and now let's go to the uh, next reason. It's the cost of living. Despite all the things I didn't like, there was still an option to stay, to quit my job, to have a rest and decide what to do next. Unless, unless the cost of living in Moscow is really high. So, if you don't have your own apartment there and want to leave your job and just have a rest for a while or find yourself, you still have to pay your rent. Though my salary was my higher than average, as I worked in the IT industry in the top position, it was still not an option for me to stay in the city without having a job. Uh, just to give you some numbers, the average rent fare is around $800 for the not-so-bad one-bedroom apartment or studio, plus the utility bills, that makes it $1,000. Uh, but um, I thought, well, I have my own apartment in my hometown, so um, I don't have to pay my rent for it, just utility bills. So, yeah. That's, that was uh, another reason, one more reason I decided to leave. Okay, and let's move to the next one. So, oh, the final reason. The final reason I decided to leave Moscow is that the concept of how I want to live my life changed, and it, ha it has finally formed in my mind. Maybe that was one of the reasons I felt fatigued. Uh, that's because the way of life I had in my mind mismatched the way of life I had in reality. Getting back to the concept formed in my mind, it was uh, the everyday aesthetics concept, and I'll expand uh, on the topic in my next videos. So yeah, these are the five reasons I left Moscow for my hometown. So let me know if it somehow resonates with what you or people close to you felt, have felt or experienced. I would be glad to hear any thoughts on where and how you live and whether you feel it's the right way or not, because we all live in different countries, different cities, uh, we have different circumstances and life conditions, so uh, it's really interesting for me if you uh, feel or felt somehow similar or if you like totally disagree with me that's that's interesting how other people think they live their lives okay and that's it for today thanks a lot for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time